sometimes when we look at detail we don't we don't look at um, the cardiovascular training that should tend to you say that will come naturally as you get better speed should increase in a natural way um, so when I was in Iwama you prayed for the hour the clock on the air to go faster because that was hard training this floor is softer than the tatami <laughs> um, and it, being in Japan he didn't explain a lot he would just demonstrate it say yokomen and they'd attack you know attack him he'd do the demonstration a couple of times and he'd just go and sort of stand back and you'd do it for 10 minutes non-stop and it was blinking hard training and I went there and this was, he said, Tony, if you want your fifth down, you've got to come to Iwama this time. He sort of put this pressure on me. Because uh, on an earlier seminar somewhere in the world, he said, all my Iwama students out the front, he said, demonstrating. And I stood back and he shouted at me and goes, Tony. And afterwards he said, don't ever do that again. I said, since he, but I haven't been to Iwama. He said, You've travelled all around the world to see me. <laughs> You're on the Iwama student. But he then said, be at the Iwama Dojo for your fifth dan. So when I went there, I couldn't understand why he wasn't explaining everything. And then Miles Kessler, who you may have heard of, he explained to me that, um, ah, that's where Sense is so clever. He knows that the Westerners want lots of questions and lots of answers to those questions. So what he does is he switches hats and he gives the people, the Westerners all the information plus the techniques. He gives the Japanese a demonstration because they're a nation of copiers. They can copy really well. And he, does, he gives them nothing as far as feedback goes. So I'd had, without realising, I'd had the best of both worlds. And um, I realised that it, you don't really want to go to Iwama if you want to learn because you just get beaten up there. You, be, you become very good, but you know, you're going to need new hip replacements and knees replacements by the time you're 60. 60. 